Hello out there, YouTube. What's going on, guys? It is D Dunn here, the most chill COD player, sitting here with my daughter. We're going to do a commentary talking about uh, what I think about Call of Duty Ghost so far. It's been out for a week now, so we will see um, if our thoughts and opinions are similar or different. Um, whatever you think, if you agree or disagree on what I'm about to say, just leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. But moving on. Um, the game overall, if I had to give it a score on, say, 1 to 10, I would say it's probably like a 8. Um, you know, some people say that this is the best Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4. I do think it's really, really good, um, but I think there's one thing that's uh, hurting it, and that is that we don't have next-gen consoles yet. Um, you know, I think a lot of people are forgetting that, these game, or that this game was designed for next-gen. Uh, that's why the maps are so big. That's why the gameplay is so slow at times. Is because we don't have 9v9 or 12v12 or whatever it's going to be uh, to to pick up the pace a little bit. Um, but overall, the connection seems pretty solid. Uh, it's a little inconsistent at times, but once again, that should be fixed once we have dedicated servers and next gen. Um, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but gun balance seems really good. Uh, the AR seem to be really dominant. But I think a lot of that just has to do with uh, with the map design. Kind of like Black Ops 2, the submachine guns were really dominant at the beginning of the game. But that's just because of map design. Uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with the, with the, the submachine guns being worse than the ARs in this game. It just has to do with the map layout. Um, and the fact that you find yourself in so many long lines of sight and the ARs melt so quickly. Um... Like, I don't think the maps are bad. I think once we have more people to play on, uh, we'll enjoy these maps a lot better. Um, you just have to position yourself in a really good way um, in order to uh, find people consistently, find a lot of kills, um, which I talked about in my last video. That's why I just do my best to stick around kind of the middle of the maps. Because if, uh, if you try and rush into a spawn, and then the spawns flip, you're going to spend like an extra 30 seconds trying to get to the other side of the map, um, to the other spawn. So, um, let's see, what else? Uh, gun balance is good, hit detection is pretty good. Um, uh, the game modes in this game are pretty good. I, I haven't played Crank, I pretty much only stick to uh, TDM, Kill Confirmed, Domination. Um, I just... TDM is just insanely way too slow paced, especially if you get in a super campy lobby. Um, but Cranked looks like fun. Um, you know, kudos, I guess, to Infinity Ward for, for thinking of that one. A game that requires people to move. I probably should play it just to see how it goes. But um, Yeah, so all in all, uh, I think the game is pretty good. It's just, like I said, the one big thing that's kind of hurting it is the fact that it was made for next gen and we don't have next gen consoles yet so hopefully when they come out uh we'll really see the true potential out of this game um things i would like to see change i would really enjoy uh you know i i wish that they would nerf the fucking dog i hate riley i hate him with a passion he's not man's best friend he's man's biggest asshole especially when you couple him with an asshole who just sits there in a building staring at a doorway and then as soon as you walk in the dog just jumps on you uh my biggest gripes about the dog is um it seems to have a lot more health than uh than the people um i feel like you know it should be as easy to kill as a person especially at you know only like a five kill streak um it's an instant kill it doesn't really matter um you know you you can't if it is close to you you cannot kill it unless it's already injured um and it I'm not exactly sure on this, but I'm pretty sure unless someone kills it, it doesn't go away. So it lasts forever. And, uh, you know, it it's, can be used as a really hard campy tool. So I wish they would kind of nerf that a little bit and maybe up the player health um, simply because you just get melted so, so fast in this game. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, it's almost a little extreme. Um... On that, I think everything is pretty good. Uh, the snipers may be a tad bit too easy, but, you know, they're not, you know, snipers will never be OP. Uh, shotguns may need a little buff. And then if the map packs are all really small maps, I think we'll see more SMGs. And I think, uh, 
once we got next gen consoles everything will be good so anyway that's just kind of my roundabout opinion on most things um i haven't had a whole lot of time to invest in this game just because you know i got the got the the full-time job the wife the baby all that so i haven't had a ton of time but you know i i do enjoy it whenever i do get on for the most part um but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to leave a like rating if you didn't then dislike the shit out of it and i'll see y'all next time